iOS has this big scary monster and its name is retain cycle. Let's talk about them. In order to understand retain cycles, I think we need to first look at how memory works in iOS. Apple uses what is called ARC or automatic reference counting to count references to determine whether a memory block needs to be allocated or deallocated. So say you make a class and you instantiate it, that reference count will increase by one. Now it's important to remember too that uh, the reference count may increase or decrease depending on the flow of your app and depending on what's happening. And then at the end of the cycle, uh, if the reference count reaches zero, then it is deallocated from memory. You may have heard about strong and weak references as well. So a strong reference is like you typing var person is equal to person class. Uh, that is a strong reference. It's, it's strong by default. So if you're not declaring weak, it just think strong. But if you type weak var, then you're basically saying do not increase the reference count. So what you're doing by creating a strong reference is basically saying while this is active, a reference will be guaranteed in memory. As always, I feel like it's easiest to demonstrate this with a coding example. So let's take a look. I have a playground open here. So say we have a class called school and then we have private var students is equal to an array of type student or have a function called, you know, add student student where we say where we say students dot append student. Okay. Simple enough, right? And this is kind of, you'll see this happen the most with like one to many relationships, like a parent child relationship. Xcode is complaining and saying, hey, we don't know what a student is. So we're gonna make class student that has private variable school of type school. And then we're gonna say, you know, required init school, school, we could say self dot school is equal to school. Makes sense, right? Simple enough. Our errors go away. We live happily ever after. Things are good, right? Now we're going to use these. We're going to say let. We're going to say let school is equal to an instance of school. I'm going to say let student is equal to student and pass the school type that we just created, okay? Then we're gonna say student, or no, then we're gonna say school dot add student. Okay, simple enough, right? Things are good, wrong, they're bad. Because we have a memory leak. Why do we have a memory leak? Because we have strong references pointing to each other, okay? We have school pointing to student. We have student pointing to school. These are two strong references pointing to each other. This is an example of a retain cycle. This causes a memory leak. That is bad. So what we can do, since these are reference types, we can change them to value types structs instead of classes. We'll say struct student. We'll have to say mutating funk, mutating, mutanting. Come on, mutating. There we go. And then uh, we don't need required anymore. We'll just say init. And then. Okay, yeah, we have to use var. Now, since we're using value types, since we're using structures instead of classes, this retain cycle can be avoided. We do not have a memory leak in this example. The other thing is too, another way around this, say we change it back to class. Uh, I'm just gonna undo because that makes way more sense here. Uh, what we could do is make these, uh, make this a weak variable 
to where this does not increase the reference count. We have to make it an optional though. So that weak declaration says that we are not increasing the reference count and that this could be nil. So in the same way that we use structs to avoid this, say you had to use classes here, you should use weak variables. Another example of when you may see uh, retain cycle issues is with protocols. So let's say we have a protocol called Logan's protocol or Logan's uh, VC delegate. We're going to say func setup with data of type any that's an array. And then we could do like class Logan's VC, which is of type UI view controller. We can have var delegate of type Logan's VC delegate. You've seen this before, right? And we could say override func view did load, you know, uh, super dot view did load, all that jazz. So the delegate is a strong reference and we have a type any. So that feels kind of risky, right? Feels a little dangerous. So if we were to like reference the view controller class from here, retain cycle once again, because we already have this side, because we're already referencing the delegate from our view controller. So if we reference our view controller from our delegate, retain cycle. So the way around this one is by saying, hey, only classes can use this protocol. And here's how we do that, just by doing class. Then we can say weak var delegate so that we're not increasing the reference count. And then finally, we have one more example of when you may run into uh, retain cycles in Swift, and that's by using closures. So say we have a closure here, uh, class closure example, where we have private var count is equal to zero private var let's create a closure uh to bring back um we'll put these in parentheses too is equal to you know close brackets and we'll say init uh just trying to think uh closure is equal to self dot count plus is equal to one, print self.count. And then we have a function run closure. We'll say closure. So the problem here is that we have a strong reference to the closure. And the problem is essentially here because we're using self. So what we could do here is declare weak self in and then self would become optional self dot count plus equal to one print self dot count into any and get over it right when you think of weak i want you to think of optionals but basically uh we cannot so by declaring weak self here, we are not increasing the uh, ARC count, the reference count, and this self becomes a optional now. So it's a safer way to handle this. You will avoid retain cycles. Um, yeah. If you like this video, I have a whole series on iOS interview questions. So feel free to check this video out too. Thank you.